To portside, crisis center of the Middle East, flies General Burns, United Nations Force Commander. Allied CNC General Sir Charles Keatley is waiting at the airfield to meet him, and so is the Allied portside commander, Lieutenant General Stockwell, who drives the other two generals to Allied headquarters in his own truck. For General Burns, this is the beginning of the takeover. His first UN troops are already in Port Said. The Norwegian contingent arrives at the station in a United Nations train, which has crossed the ceasefire line under a white flag. The Norwegian commander is greeted by Allied officers while the unit leaves the train. As the Norwegians march through the streets of Port Said, Egyptians turn their welcome into an anti-British demonstration, shouting, Hey, hey, Abdul Nasser. But the Norwegians march quietly on their way to the camp area, and after a little more shouting and waving, the demonstration quickly subsides. As soon as the Norwegian unit has settled in at the UN camp, it receives a visit from Generals Keatley and Stockwell. A very informal inspection, for the Norwegian troops have as yet no duties, and are making the most of their brief rest. General Stockwell wants to be convinced that they really can swim. Nor is it all work and no play for the Allied troops. An open-air concert party brings a welcome break. An air trip over Portside shows that the damage caused by the fighting was far less than some foreign reports had claimed. The most serious damage of all was the work of the Egyptians themselves, the blocking of the canal, which the British and French navies are hard at work clearing. They've already unplugged the mouth of the canal by lifting a 1,500-ton blockship. So while other blockships are being prepared for removal, it is already possible for large merchant vessels to enter the inner basin, a big step forward in this most vital of all tasks. British troops are leaving as the United Nations force arrives. First to go are nearly a thousand men of the 1st Battalion, the Royal West Kents, who embark for Cyprus. How soon they will be followed by other Allied units will depend on how quickly the United Nations contingents arrive. For Britain and France have declared that they will only withdraw as the international force becomes effective. There must be no military vacuum in Port Said.